I absolutely am just thrilled beside myself. I had to bury tears and I just kept saying, all of my hard work paid off. All of my hard work paid off. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Baby Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Fallon Taylor will win. She's riding an amazing horse out of Baby Flo. One of the babies for Baby Flo. For Lo to the Flo. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, this is such a massive, massive moment for our company. I'm wearing a throwback shirt from way back in the day, and the reason is something super cool and sentimental happened for our business. Just a huge opportunity. I'm gonna save it for the end, so make sure and stick with us. We have a huge announcement. There is an NFR barrel racer that is not me that is sponsored now by Ranch Dressin. We're gonna have our big reveal at the end, so stick with us. Until this moment, it's been me, it's been my friends, and we've done a heck of a job. But to be able to branch out to somebody that may potentially be running down the alleyway of the Thomas and Mac is super, super exciting. All right, we are gonna go to some jackpots this week. We are firing up a whole new squad. That includes Flo's Pharaoh. You guys may not have seen a whole lot of him, but he is our gentle giant. This guy was ranch raised. He's out of Nephi, Baby Flo's full sister that I ran at the National Finals Rodeo, and sired by Filthy Fast and French. We have three Filthy Fast and French cold all Palomino, we have Jerry, Pharaoh, and Baby, and all of those are just, they, I've just kicked them out. They had a really good year, and part of my training method is after they get done and we feel like they're seasoned pretty good, as we did last year, we kick them out. And we have a luxury of doing this because those Colts weren't up against a paturity deadline. So if they're gonna be rodeo horses, I have the luxury of being, being able to do that. If I were a fraternity trainer, that's the last thing I would be able to do. But because of that, I'm able to bring them back in. And what's so cool and super nerdy about the hippocampus, and I, I just feel like through my theory, it's worked really well in horses, and that is letting them forget about stuff and just kicking them out to be a horse, and then when they come back up, they feel almost more sharp than when they were dead center in the middle of their training. So if you have a horse that um, you feel like just needs to mature, I highly recommend they won't forget a thing if you just kick them out and let them grow. So speaking of maturing, he matured to over 16 two hands tall, and he is massive, giant farm animal, and he is doing so good. So let's head to some jackpots with trailer full of horses as I'm still anticipating the arrival of my custom six horse trailer that I ordered a year ago. But for the time being, we are gonna pack in four horses to every jackpot this week. Come along with us. We're gonna start at Pilot Point. Now this is a brand new race. They've never had a race before, I think. And it's about this deep in mud. Now what sucks about the videos is you can't tell how muddy it is, it looks like it's kind of all right. Just know it's like this deep. Now, a friend of mine came down from Colorado and she rode Florari and Faro. So she's first out on the sketchy ground on horses she's never been on before. Here goes Laura Lee. to be one of the fastest horses there obviously with this gorgeous run now let's see cody and mojo Mojo were third for the day and gorgeous as usual. Now it's time for me to run Flowbot. All right, 
Flobot doesn't make it pretty all the time, but he does go fast. The timer didn't work, so unfortunately for me, we'll never know what he ran. I think it was a really good run. I went way by the first, but we're working on that, and now it's time for Laura Lee and Pharaoh. Now again, she's never been on this horse, so this is gonna be really, really cool to watch. I told her, swing a leg over and take off, and she did. What a gorgeous run, just a little cruise through. You guys are gonna see a lot more of him this week. So now it's time for me to run Smoke Show, who you guys haven't seen in a while. She was perfect. Check it out. Now, as of yesterday, Smoke Show is confirmed in full to JL Dash to Heaven. We are gonna flush that embryo, so she's gonna continue being a performance horse mare. I have a couple of people that are whispering in my ear that really, really want to own her, but I'm still on the fence. I don't know if she's gonna ever leave or not. She's just so special and perfect, but at least I got this full out that I know for sure, so we are super excited about that. Now it's time for me to make another run on Strut, so here we go. First time mutter, I feel like he did fantastic. It's a really, really great run and among some of the fastest of the day. We're gonna call that a win for Futurity Colt with no expos and first time in the mud. Now it's time to head to the next jackpot. We're gonna go to Greenville. All right, it is time for me and Hush Money to go in and see what we can get done. Check it out. Hush Money and I win second with a 15.0 and I just couldn't ask for her to be more consistent in this pin. Absolutely beautiful and we go to first in the buckle series so I'm really excited about that. Next up is Cody on Mojo. Yeah. And Mojo make a scorching run of 15.1. That's good enough for fourth in the 1D. This is a super salty race with over 110 entries. So again for Cody. Cody and them clean runs. We're gonna call her clean run Cody. Look at this. Look at this. It's a, it's a new phase. It's a new era. All right, now it's time for me and Strut. I'm hoping for anything in the 15 second range would be really phenomenal. Again, he's four, so we're hoping for just good and clean and smooth. Yeah, go. Yeah. Nice. I wish we had a camera on my face for after I ran because Strut just clocked a 15.1 and ended up third right behind Hush Money. I absolutely am just thrilled beside myself. I had to bury tears and I just kept saying, all of my hard work paid off. All of my hard work paid off. 
It was at this very same jackpot and a couple of runners ahead of me that Miss P clocked her fastest time on Sharpie. So I believe that was really good luck because I got to watch her be overwhelmed with tears of joy. And I remembered that feeling and it triggered something inside of me. And we got this really cool run. Now, mind you, I blew a stirrup. So the whole time I was just white knuckling the saddle horn and strut did 99.9% of everything on his own. I am thrilled. If you are training your own young horse, let me just tell you that some days you're the windshield and some days you're the bug because it's gonna go like this. He's not forever a 1D horse now that he's clocked in the 1D. It's up to me to get him back there the next time. So it is time for us to go to another jackpot. We are gonna head to Weatherford. This is a pin we don't go to a lot. The ground is about yay deep. We're gonna go run some more horses. All right, let's watch Cody run first on Mojo and let's see if she can keep up the streak. Cody made a phenomenal run, absolutely gorgeous. Now, a couple of horses had fallen at the first barrel. This is a place we may not go back to a lot because it was just a little sketchy. We don't know if that's normal or um, if that was just this day, but a trainer's horse that was really nice fell in a spot and Mojo saw the spot and is very, very situationally aware. He stepped out of that spot, did something really unusual and then continued with his run. We're grateful that Mojo decided to take care of himself because a whole lot of horses did not do as well in that scenario. But it's time for me and Hush Money to make a run and see how we do. did the same thing as Mojo, finding a hole in the backside of the third and stepping around it. She didn't love it, but part of being a rodeo horse is getting acclimated to all of these different scenarios. So while I wasn't perfectly in the top, we we're in the top of the 2D and with a less than perfect run, we'll take it. We'll go on to the next one, but now it's time for strut. All right, Strut absolutely did not like it and he didn't know how to handle this ground. So he got to the second barrel, stepped in a hole and was like, this is not for me. I went ahead and pulled him up so I didn't beat that confidence that we built up from Greenville and just let him cruise out. I highly recommend doing that, but I don't like to make a habit of it. If you pull your horses up a lot in a run, especially after you hit a barrel, it tends to create a negative impact for later and kind of take some of that grit and drive out of them. So I highly don't recommend it. However, in this scenario, we wanted him to feel safe and secure and understand that he didn't have to try anymore on ground that just didn't suit him. So now it's time for Flo's Pharaoh. got run in there. He's five years old, no exhibitions, and I thought was just absolutely flawless. I've got some people looking at him that might want to be his new owner. If you happen to be one of those people, make sure to hit me up. My email is below. Serious inquiries. He's in the mid five figures, and he's a horse that's just phenomenal to ride. Easy, simple, huge, needs no tuning. He's super cool. Plus, he gets turned out with other horses. You just go catch him and take him to the barrel race. He's going to make one heck of a rodeo horse. Well, now on to our huge news. Speaking of rodeo horses, am I a Nikki fan? All right, let's check out who the brand new ranch dress and endorsee is that we are hoping goes super, super far while wearing our brand. This is Jimmy Smith. Here comes Jimmy Smith. This is Jimmy Smith too. NFR Barrel Racer.
I'm sure you already know Jimmy Smith. She rides a valiant Nikki. She rides several other amazing horses. And what's funny is for this year, she kind of said she just wanted to quit rodeoing and focus on jackpots. And that spun into just an, a running joke of her on a, an absolute heater. She's won Denver, Tucson, Waxahachie, Nacogdoches, and the Longo of San Angelo thus far, and that's just been in the last 60 days. She is excited to be repping the brand, and we are so excited to have her here. We'll be cheering her on all the way to whatever jackpots she wants to go to. I think she's pushed to number eight in the world standings in the entire world. This chick rocking our brand is number eight. That's such a cool thing. We are so, so, so excited to welcome to the team Jimmy Smith. But don't forget about our breakaway roper. We also have a breakaway roper, Tiffany Sheik, who just won second at Rodeo Houston. And we are so, so excited. Champion was at the Cheyenne Frontier Days a year ago. Tiffany out from behind the barrier line. She is clean 2.8, and that's now the top time. Texas lady set in the bar. So, so far, it's me and Cody. Jimmy Smith and Tiffany Sheik, and we could not be more excited about it. We're going to be adding more people to the team later this year. We're just like praying about all the people that are going to represent the brand. It's such a hard decision because these people, when they're out and about, are a representation of all of our hard work and a culmination of all the things that we strive for as a brand. So we've chosen very, very carefully, and we're so beyond proud to be the sponsor for these girls. We can't wait to see what they do. You guys, that's it for today. We are so pumped to have you. If you'd like to stick around and see what the very next thing we're doing is, make sure to subscribe, ding the notification bell, and as always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.